Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm China. And we are your trainers from Tone, Tone It Up. Up. So today we are answering your burning questions, pun intended. That's so good. Yeah. How do I pick the right weight? Yeah, and this is actually a really good question because it all depends on your workout. If you go into, say, Tori's bar workout mm -hmm. in the Tone It Up app, mm -hmm. or if you go to uh, Chevy's yoga class, Chevy's yoga sculpt, three to five pound weights or no. even your body weight. Right burns you up completely. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's mm -hmm. kind of thinking about what workout you're doing and what's best for your body and what you can do. Today we're gonna talk about how to pick the perfect weight for strength training because yes. China and I have a strength program in the Tone It Up app. So good. <laughs> it's so good. And this is where we wanna push ourselves a little bit. Yeah, and it's really great with strength training because unlike other workouts, it's not high cardiovascular and you take more breaks so you can actually recover and then do your next set. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go heavier in weight mm -hmm. and you really focus on the eccentric and the concentric, which are the movements you're going through everything. So we're just gonna talk about how to pick perfect weight for that. Let's start with bicep curls, all right? So choose I some weights. I would probably go about 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 I would say. Okay, so this is how you know if it's the perfect weight because even if you go to a sporting goods store mm -hmm. and you're there to buy dumbbells, Try it out. Mm -hmm. It's it's totally okay. Oh, for you sure. Do a few reps too to get yeah. a feel of it. Yeah. So we want you to do 12 repetitions. Are you ready? Yeah. So she's so testing out the tens here. Okay. And with proper form, so your abs are in. Make sure you draw your belly button to your spine. Squeeze your glutes. Good. All the way up and all the way down, and really focusing on that eccentric on the way down on your strength, and then coming up with the concentric. Now. If the last <laughs> few reps are hard, this is a really good weight for you. If you finish it off and you're like, you know what, those last few reps right. really weren't that hard, you could probably go up and wait. Right, so I'm already getting a little bit shaky. Good. And that's like six reps in probably. That's so good. Now, if you find yourself shaking and then your form begins to go, you wanna do some of Maybe okay, some form. So it would just be more of like this type of movement, probably, yeah. where all of a sudden, oh, I can lift these weights. Yeah. But when you go back to having a stabilized core, you realize this is a little more challenging than I thought. Yeah. And we, and we should mention, we talked about this too, is that some power lifters use momentum and everything that's great. But with this specifically, we want you to do proper form and really engage your core. And so if you want to, you can do a drop set where you complete the set. Which I so, would be about ready for that yeah. right now. <laughs> so if you feel like your form's going, you can either drop down and weight completely or perform a drop set and then finish out the set or do a few extra reps with that lighter weight. Yeah. Um, but it all just takes testing out the weight. Now, of course, if you think about your bicep, okay? So if you get one pair of dumbbells to work out at home, it's not gonna work that way because your bicep, think about how small this muscle is, and then look at how big our quad is. Like, mm -hmm. And then our gluteus mm -hmm. and that hamstrings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a gluteus. Yep. The, one of the wonders of the world, everyone. <laughs> We're talking so, about biceps. How did that get in here? I just like to <laughs> flip uh, a little China booty so that every was time. perfect. So obviously with glutes and legs, you're gonna want to choose a higher weight. Right. And so I love body weight squats mm -hmm. because that burns, mm -hmm. but then sometimes you can challenge yourself and pick up say a 15 15 15 20 so if you have 15s in each hand and you perform a deadlift you're using 30 pounds which is amazing. amazing plus some body weight that you're actually lifting up if you have any questions about form check out the strength program that we have in the app because we walk through everything we are you sweating yeah i am <laughs> come on you <laughs> stop these are the right weights because i get tired <laughs> I, I can sense that you're like i'm just not gonna complete this um well, we focus so much on proper form that sometimes i yeah. do forget if you do if you can do six reps eight reps thank you and then you start getting shaky that's perfect because sometimes I'm so focused on proper form yeah. that I can almost plateau and not yeah. challenge myself to go a little bit heavier. Yeah. And so I always like pushing it too. That's a really good point too where the last few reps where you feel like those are really difficult but it doesn't mean that those first few reps still aren't difficult. Mm -hmm. If you're strength training and you are say squatting, deadlift and all of it, it's it's pretty difficult the whole time. Right. So if you have any questions about form or technique or anything, we walk you through everything. Yeah, so check out the Tone It Up Strength Program and we will see you there. See you there.